Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Checking out another petrified fish knife. Uh, I haven't had one in a little while, but they keep a good steady stream coming, which is very, very cool of them. This is the PFE8 Grow. PFE08 Grow. There you go. Wanted to make sure I got it right. But some of the extras it comes with, comes with extra hardware. Very cool. Get a cleaning cloth, sticker. I, I love that. I love that sticker. The skeleton of like the sailfish, swordfish. That's pretty cool. But the Grow. A little bit different name. I, I was kind of surprised when I saw that. But, you know, overall, this knife is, it's pretty darn good. I'm digging it. Just thought I'd tell you that right off the bat. But as you can see, you got red G-mascus right there. Let's see, there's red G-mascus, green G-mascus, and black G-10. Those are the three versions available. And the G-mascus, you know, it gives me pretty good grip. You know, you can see my thumb slipping a little bit. But overall, I mean, they are flat scales. So there's not, not a contour on the scales. But it's it's got a decent grip. Overall, fit and finish, you know, you got the G-Mascus backspacer. That's kind of cool. I kind of like how that, some of it almost lines up. But anyway, I mean, it's just cross cut. But I like that. Uh, letterboxing, not really. They're pretty even. Pretty even. Got a lanyard hole. Lanyard fans, rejoice. Very cool. Now you've got titanium clip, which as you can see there, it is right hand uh, tip up carry only. And it is accessible from inside the scale. So you don't have any screws or anything like that to worry about. Kind of low. It is low profile for sure. And we'll talk about this here in a little bit. But got an okay ramp to it. We'll call it an okay ramp. Um, and you'll see why. But button lock. Very nice. You've got a couple different methods of deployment. I mean, you've got the dual thumb studs which I am definitely not going to reverse flick because I cannot get <laughs> my finger behind that thumb stud. But, and then you do have a flipper. Uh, you've got some jimping on the flipper with it. Does grab your finger pretty well. Button lock comes shut nice. Jumps out pretty well on that thumb stud. Little flip shut. Action is pretty decent. The detent, pretty darn good actually. Button, there's no stick in the button. There you go. Kind of got to give it a little flip shut. It doesn't, it's not super drop shutty. You just got to give it that little nudge right there at first. And then you saw that if you get your timing down, there you go. It snapped in there pretty good. You will see that sometimes I get a little bit of bounce back. But then it grabs. So the button, there is... Little to no stick on that button. What I'm feeling, I think, is just retention of the spring. Honestly, or not retention, but pushback from the spring. Resistance. That's the word I was looking for. Resistance from the spring. Drop shut. See, and then we got a little bit of bounce back on that one. But overall, it's not too bad. Not too bad. These things are selling for, what, 58 59 bucks. So, not too bad, but K110 steel. Now, you've got that little design, and I believe that is just a design for the knife because I have looked and looked and looked um, to see if there was, you know, because it almost looks like a maker, maker's mark to me. And I looked and looked, and I can't find anything where it says this is a collaboration with someone. If you know, if you've seen it, please let me know down in the comments. But I've been looking at it, and I just can't find what, where it says it's a collaboration with anyone. So I just believe it's kind of a, a decoration for the knife, more or less. Um, K110 on the blade steel. Got some nice jimping up there. You kind of got a little bit of a sw swoon, swoon dip, if you will, in the spine of that blade. Now, as my hand normally lays on the blade, as you can see, I am kind of past that jimping. The jimping is done pretty well. 
for the most part. I wished it would go out just a little bit further, but it's grabbing eh, probably right there, that back portion of my thumb. So it's not too bad. Nice little clip point blade on it. But let's get our, let's do our quick spec check here. So overall, you're looking at, I mean, it is just a hair over eight inches. Your handle is about four and a half. Blade length is going to be, as I measure it right here, I get about three and almost five eighths. Pretty close. And then your cutting edge is actually going to be right about three and a half overall. Grip length, you're looking at about four inches, so not too bad. In my three and a half inch grip, you can see I have a little bit left over. Now, if I did have to go back, I'm kind of, well, I am kind of back here on this flat a little bit, but coming back, it's not uncomfortable or anything like that. My hand pretty much feels comfortable in just about any grip that I use. Now, choking up, no siree. I mean, if I choke up, I really have to get out on the tip of my finger to stay off that blade, but even then, you know, that's not a very large sharpening choil. Now, I will also say, those darn thumb studs are really kind of out there in that cutting path. If you can see that, that was that was probably one of the major, not disappointments, but I definitely, but then they really can't be set a lot farther back. I mean, you could, you really can't. I mean, you could go back a little further, but even then, you're still going to be in that cutting path. So definitely would like to see or not see that as much as it is, but it's okay. Can you take them off? I haven't tried. It looks like it's possible, maybe, but then again, you're going to have a hole in your blade, so yeah. So um, definitely a little bit of a drawback there that they are. I mean, if you're an expert sharpener, they probably won't bother you, or they might. I don't know. I'm not an expert, so don't claim to be so. Let's do our size comparison. Of course, we're going to get the PM2 out there. And overall, we're pretty close. Really, let's get it lined up just a little bit better. The blades are, you can see the PM2 handle comes out a little bit further. So you're probably going to end up having a little bit more blade on the grow. Handles, again, pretty darn close. The PM2 does just extend past then of course we're gonna have a bug out so that should mean our bug out is just slightly shorter which it is by probably about a half inch on the handle and then on the blade about a quarter of an inch so pretty close pretty close overall kind of right in between them actually so we'll get our scale turned on we'll get a weight 3.8 not bad and then 108 grams for our friends across the pond. I can't forget you guys. And then, of course, now this is where I was going to kind of talk about that pocket clip a little bit. It's kind of fools you because the, the ramp isn't, you know, let's take it back out. We've got good retention. The ramp is okay, but it's a nice long ramp and that slender point to that pocket clip really aids it in going in your going in your pocket and as you can see you do have a little bit sticking out now if i get it over in the corner where i like to carry mine it's a little bit more exposed not much you know it, it's really pretty close so that's kind of where i like to carry mine now again coming out of the pocket you've got good retention not bad. I would that kind of surprised me. And in this one, now in the jeans I was wearing earlier today, uh, the seam was a little bit thicker, so I was having a little bit harder time. You can see this is normally that's pretty much a normal seam. The one I had is almost like a double seam in the jeans that I had. Now that was giving me a little bit of issue because obviously, like I said, you don't have that, you know, it's a low profile, so you don't have a lot of room in between there. But in this pocket right here, it was really nice. It went in really smooth. So that was kind of a, it was a surprise. It was a nice surprise, actually. 
So, overall, what do I think of the old grow? You know, overall, it's not too bad. Uh, carries nice. Usability is nice. Ergonomics, it feels very good in hand. As you can see, if I really stretch my thumb out there, I'm still on that, you know, sort of flat. I don't get past the clip. Now, if you have larger hands than I do, you might be past that, you know, past this point in the spine. But it feels really good in hand. You know, K110 steel, G-Mascus, button lock. Like I said, you're looking at right about $58, $59 for this one. So not too bad overall. The two drawbacks, um, well, one real drawback is those darn thumb studs are out there in that cutting path uh, quite a bit. You know, so uh, we, had, we had another knife recently where the thumb studs are out. I'd like to see that not happen, but if we look at it, you know, this could pretty much be a standard flipper knife and you'd be okay. You know, but they got the thumb studs, so they are out there in the cutting path. So if you're really digging the grow, that's one thing you're going to have to think about when it comes time to sharpen. Other than that, overall, not a bad knife. Feels good in hand. Does exactly what I need it to do. It cuts, it opens, it shuts with a little shake. And that Reggie mask is, you know I'm digging that. I mean, come on now. And then the pocket, <coughs> pardon me, that pocket clip was a pleasant surprise. I was a little concerned with it, but overall, not too bad. Definitely, the Grow, pretty darn good knife. Definitely have to thank Petrified Fish for sending it out to check out. Really, really appreciate them doing that. Like I said, they've been very, very nice and very generous for sending some knives out to check out, so definitely always appreciate that. Of course, we'll probably see this one in a giveaway here at some point, SKL or whatnot. You know, just what we do. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Always appreciate hearing from you and telling me what you think of the knives I show you. And I definitely appreciate you stopping by today. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.